coming to settlement of accounts at the time of dissolution of the firm. Now students, section 48 of Indian Partnership Act 1932 deals with settlement of accounts at the time of dissolution of firm. Remember there are certain special items that have to be taken care of like for example treatment of losses. In case there are certain losses then they should be paid out of profits. If profits are not available then out of capital and let's say capital is also exhausted then whatever is the residue or the remaining portion of losses that has to be paid off it would be brought in by the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Remember it is the order of preference that is given to you. That means in case all three options are open then profits would be the first one that would be used then we'll move on to the capitals and lastly the partners are supposed to bring in additional amounts in the ratio of their profits. The second is application of assets. Whatever assets are available in the firm would obviously now be disposed of. So where in and how that money would be used? The first one or the first application should be the payment of the debts of the firm. That is whatever are the liabilities of the firm they should be paid out of the money accumulated by selling the assets of the firm. Then payment to the partners that is the payments to the partners on account of their loans etc. So it is clearly mentioned other than capital that means if a partner has advanced certain loan to you or loan to the firm then the payment should be made on account of that loan before it is made on account of capital. So routes, right students it is like loans are actually paid off first and before the capital amount is paid. Remember this payment can also be proportional that is if full and complete amount is available you will pay it off let's say there is a deficiency of cash so in that case only the proportional payments have to be made and lastly if in case anything is left after paying off all your liabilities then that is disposed of among the partners as profits in their profit sharing ratio.